Instagram. Welcome to another edition of Geek Culture Unboxing. We are going to be unboxing on two fronts here today, live on Instagram. Thanks for joining in. And we are also recording on YouTube. So from time to time, Instagram, you will see our cameraman kind of move in the shot as he gets closer shots. So what do we have for you today? We have NECA's quarter scale, 18 inch articulated Deadpool figure. And we're also going to do a comparison with the best Deadpool statue on the market, which is Sideshow Collectibles quarter scale Deadpool. But let's get to this one first. Alfred, you want to take it away on the box? Ooh, it has got so much detail on it. <clears throat> you have got 33 points of articulation, seven interchangeable hands, and a weapons arsenal. And comedic genius on the box. What? <laughs> sure, yeah, whatever. You're gonna die. Advantage Deadpool. Roses. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got well, the way it is. You got to advantage Deadpool. Hiya! And the back part, it's probably got some great little features on there. Pretty much handed to you on a silver platter. Boo. Yep. I'm the insufferable Deadpool. It's a super posable badass. You got that right. Now, one of the things, his boot on the bottom says snap. Hopefully it is on the bottom of his boot on the figure. We We're hope it says that. Out. We're going to find out too. Right. Smell you later. Oh, I gotta get to the bathroom. Bad. <laughs> does Deadpool even shit? He took a he took a bullet up Main Street. Does he even defecate? He's got to. He has to. I mean, he rubbed it on the phone booth, so he's got to. <laughs> that was funny. He's got to. That yeah. Was funny. Oh, that spoiler really on that one. Uh, after I waste you, I'm gonna get to some sushi. Uh, I should have said tacos or chimichangas. Yeah. I know they really like oh. avoiding that. You know, like in the beginning of the trailer for Logan, he could have been walking eating a taco and been like, no, no, my watch, no, and then just throw the yeah. taco. They're so avoiding that. We're not happy with that Marvel. Yeah, come on, just do it already. I'm supposed to suck it open. Three pieces of tape. All right, commence the acne sacks. There we go. Uh oh. You're gonna have to with the tie tie. Oh. oh my god. Oh. There's not some nice uh, inside art on the dead. Yeah, yeah, there is nice inside art. You know what I don't like about it already is that it's got these little plastic things in here. I mean, normally that's nice because you don't have to deal with these little ties, but it's going to mess up the box. But that's yeah. NECA for you. Yeah, so, NECA. Come on, NECA. <laughs> <laughs> I like the box. And the box is great. Look at that. Oh, I hate you so bad. No, but it's not going to be bad. Where's the knife? It's cool. Did you? Oh. So then we got then we got his hands and accessories. All right. So how many? Let's count kind of total. All right. So we have we have six right and left hands. So two, three sets of, of right and left, and one extra right hand. Which yeah. is this one? Which is that one? Because you got the one where it says Deadpool. Then you got his uh, M209. Right. If I get the nomenclature right. It's got extended barrel with a silencer or a suppressor. suppressor. You got the scope. You've got the grenade launcher. You've got the, uh, there you go, the M203. God, M209. You got the 203, and then you've got the, uh, the clips taped together. Banana, banana style. Banana style. <laughs> Boom. Ready to rock and roll, though. That is sweet Boom. the way they did that, though. Nice. Then you get his, you get his trademark katanas. Ooh, look at the detail. Ooh, hey, that's and nice. it, No, but look at it. It's not regular kanji. It's like, it's got... Uh, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation, uh, dollar sign, H, crazy. Like that? Yes. Oh, pound sign, gosh. there it is, the pound sign. Super yeah. cool. Oh, good it is lord. comic gold. Comic gold? Yes, they're little nuggets. I'll let you Look at this. And then, and then the, it's yeah, the, the handle. The handle's got the Deadpool. Yeah. There you go. And then you've got... Yeah, you <coughs> Tech Nine? Yeah, yeah. Tech Nine. You got the Deadpool symbol on one side and then a, a little Deadpool holding on the on the, the back there. Then you turn it over. Deadpool's gun. This end toward <coughs> enemy. <laughs> is this isn't a nine mil what is it exactly? It's a modified nine mil? Do do we know what this is exactly? It looks like a desert eagle almost. Yeah. Almost, right? <coughs> And then we've got uh, one side yeah. with the Deadpool on the bottom. He killed the Ninja Turtle. He killed the Ninja Turtle. Okay. And then we've got this uh, almost a makeshift uh, kind of Rambo blade going on here. Y'all yeah. trying to figure out how to put his blades on? It's lining up the little dots. Yeah, the dots are 
that's in purple. Connect the dots. <coughs> oh, there he is. That's easy feet. He's going to fall out. Uh, there we go. So here we have the 18 inch quarter scale, oh well, <laughs> dead bull from NECA. And 30, it said it has 33 uh, points of articulation, head turning. That, we accounts, got, that accounts for most of it. That accounts for most of it? <laughs> yeah, just getting on these swords though. About $130 retail, depends on uh, where you purchase them at. Yeah. If you're lucky, you can score them for about 110 That That would, I would say, be a good buy. All right, so this I don't like. It's really hard to line up, and it doesn't stay. The little pegs are super tiny. So Turn so they can see. And oh, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't even. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah. yeah. These need to be a little longer. Those are way too short. Well, you know, there's the concern of, um, hmm, that's weird. Okay, okay. Yeah. There's that. Yeah, the see? pegs are too short, so. Yeah, we're yeah. not gonna mess with that because it'll just keep falling during the yes. review. So talk, you know, talk to us about the articulation, the details. Well, what about the texture? Well, on the bottom, it does say this, snap. It does say snap. Only one foot bends. The <laughs> other one, it's not really. Bottom. Well, when he bends his toe, then it snap. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap. Boom. And then this one, not so much. That sucks. It he doesn't have muscle teeth. I mean, it, it, it just doesn't move his I think it's like glued shut or something like. Too much glue, too much sauce. Something tight. <laughs> they did good on that one at the factory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. weight. Yeah. That one it up. ain't moving. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go anywhere. Which one is the one that moves? <laughs> That's the one that moves. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Do we have like a, a toy oh, beer can we can put in his hand? Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah. You can stick one in. That's for you, Neca, because the other foot doesn't bend. <laughs> That's a lot. And for the tight tights. And for the tight tights. <laughs> yes. Messing up the package. Yeah, and then it being just like bubble wrapped glued. Yeah, come on, Neca. Really? It's supposed to be like super awesome. What's up? Feedback, guys. Talk to us. Minim Minim minimum effort. <laughs> for 110 bucks, what do you think? Everything you get, 110 bucks? I think it's worth um, like 75 80. Yeah. What do you mean 75 80? Yeah, I don't think it's worth 130. Oh. Yeah, because I mean, look, it goes from good, good black, good tactical black to. Uh, Until it gets to the hey, here's a hefty, no, no, no. It's shiny. good from like the ankle up to the crotch, and then not so bueno. I don't like the way they did the crotch and the way that the. Not the long legs. enough. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. I totally walked into that one. Man, <laughs> set yourself up there. You know, but I do like how they have attention to detail to all the little straps. They kind of come out like you know, like a little like they were actually real. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the quality of the plastic is a little intimidating just because it's Intimidating? Looks, I think so because it, it just, I don't want to break it. It just kind of looks like there's too much glue. Well, you guys, you guys did handle it, you know, pretty decently. Nothing, knock on wood, nothing broke. I want to, I want to kind of try to close them a little more once we get done with this. Yeah, but it's just kind of hard though. Like, you should have like a little simple base. Yeah. That would have been great. Well, we'll see that when we bring in the quarter scale and you guys can compare, you know, the two. Yeah. They're almost about the same size, so that's going to be, I'm really going to, I mean, it's really going to be interesting. So. I think this is a very nice toy to play with, but not to display. Not to display? You wouldn't buy it? And see, that's the thing, and that's what we're going to show the comparison is that you pay 130 at a comic shop or wherever for this, and then you pay anywhere from, if you would buy it at retail, the retail Deadpool, I think it was like 500 for the statue. Now you're going to pay anywhere from 600 to $1,200 for it. Yeah. And that's display purposes. So keep that in mind in a minute when we bring that forward. But yeah, a toy, you know, to have, yeah, you know. But I know. I know. Right? They've done, they've done some really, but this though, it's just like this other black, this super shiny. It, it doesn't off. look, they killed it, right? It does. Yeah. yeah. Man, that what was... were you thinking, Nekka? We were thinking shoulder pads. <laughs> what? Yeah, but none it's of the other black sticks out like that. Yeah. All it's all—it's like a gloss versus a matte. Yeah. yeah, the rest of the black is matte, and like on the red, you see the texture of the costume, and then you just have the boots. I don't like how it differs from the boots. Yeah, but the boots are actually kind of neat because you can see the tread in the boots. The detail on the boots is is really awesome. Yeah, it's some of the weathering yeah. too. Some of them brighter all the blood. 
And then all of his, his accessories, you know aside from the fact that the blades don't You're stay right. on. No, 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 let's point that out. Because you know what? There are some discolorations, like on the boot and here in, in behind the, the leg. In the joints. Yeah, part, the joints. Yeah, in the joints, you see discoloration of the, it's brighter. the red in his uniform. Costume. Even here with the black, you have the rest of the black that's on the rest of the yeah. costume, the ugly shiny black, and then even the joint is a different Well, you black. can see right here the most, the joints that are super red, and it completely clashes with the costume. It's not the right color, it's not the right texture, it just kind of sticks out. I hope Ryan Reynolds doesn't see this. He's going to be dude or pissed. Do we remember from the movie, was, uh, was it without the red around it on the logo on the hand? Usually it's got the red that makes it stand out. When it's yeah. like that, it kind of looks weird. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, look at what is that? A paint chip? <laughs> no, it couldn't be a paint chip. Yeah, it was a paint chip. I don't know from where but that that's still cool. I like the little Deadpool on that gun. That yeah, that is pretty sweet though. That that's some detail so right the there. Details like that are nice, yeah. but then there's other there's parts other that they just that, completely yeah. miss the mark. See, so, because if you have him like this to where you don't see the top of his shoulders, oh, it looks it looks good. And then you see the super shiny on the top of the shoulders, yeah. and it's just like, what the hell? Great. He's maybe a half an inch taller than the quarter scale statue by Saito. I'm the real Deadpool. Back off. That's also because he's not standing up straight in the statue. Right? Yeah, he's so talking about it. His knees are like locked. No, look at the top. His head turns. Yeah, his head can't. And his back is kind of harsh back. Now, what do you think? Let's, let's start with that. Let's look at the head. Which head do you like better? Do you like the head over here on the quarter scale statue or do you like the head on the figure? The statue looks a little bit more smooth and, you know, realistically. The way they sculpted it. Yeah, the way that it's done. This one, eh, kind of there, you know, like a homemade kind of cosplay Deadpool. Yeah, I can kind of see that because you know what, when you're wearing a mask, you're not going to get the scrunching up like that on the, the nose. I think this one is probably a little bit more realistic, even though this one has more texture. I'm gonna move him over so that you can get a clear shot. Okay, so then we go from the head. Let's go to the uh, the tactical gear. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Do you like the gear on the figure, or do you like the silver on the on the statue? I kind of like the the detail. Like the figure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like the detail on the figure. I'm used to seeing this, but yeah, that part, yes. The top, the top piece, yes. Especially when even even the side pouches, the pouches over there yeah. are more accurate to what actual military wears compared to these little. Yeah. yeah. You know what I think they did? I think they put all their money in all the accessories. <laughs> <laughs> well, even That's, when you look at the back, harsh? even though we can get the swords to stick on this one, that harness looks a lot better than. Nah, this yeah, we need another laser suit. Yeah. We'll get that. The harness back here. Talk to appropriations for that. Well, even though the swords stay on this one, I still think this one looks nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one because they would they would cross, you know, ideally. Yeah. Yeah. And then what about in comparison? Do you like the traditional katana look on this one, which uh, I guess the sword didn't come out, or do you prefer the red, black, and then the the Deadpool? I'm gonna say because I'm a fan of the comics, I kind of like that one because it has a little bit more of a comic aesthetic, especially um, with the detailing on the sword on this one. The, yeah, the writing? Yeah. The writing of the katana? I don't think the one on the side one comes up. No. So yeah, like I said, I think they totally put a lot more detail into, into the, the accessories. accessories. Yeah, because I mean, you got a the, banana clip that comes out for even, God's sakes. Look, look at, at the katana. I mean, it looks like, look at the, the detail. Oh my God, that's so cool. So you've got Deadpool on the bottom part. On the handlebar, you've got all these accessories. And then you've got emoji, you know, it's not kanji, but it's like emoji. It's imi kanji. Imitation kanji. Yeah, imitation, Deadpool imitation kanji. And then you get way more accessories with the $130 figure than you do with the statue. The statue, you get this gun and the, and the 9 millimeter. And it doesn't come off. And, and then, yeah, you can't take either one of them off. And the exclusive for this Deadpool, well, he was holding a chicken, a rubber chicken. Which what? some fans got, I mean, a lot of people love that. I mean, it didn't strike my fancy, that's why I didn't get it. So then, okay, basically, then you know, basically, if you could get this suit onto uh, onto that figure. Yeah. Having said that, so then you prefer this without the texturing compared to Nekas? You prefer you that? Know, you know, I think if they were to put that crotch on this toy, it would look a lot better. Man, you're wrong with the crotches today. <laughs> I'm just saying, look at the way it stands out, and you can see all that space, and it just looks awkward. The poor Deadpool. <laughs> Maybe you just got out of the tub. I don't know. It's cold outside. That uh, too might have to be with the articulation. It doesn't, it doesn't make look, him. You know, 
Yeah, I know. But it just doesn't look... Articulation, you gotta sit there and like bend this dude like so bad. Yeah. My, my biggest difference is there is the color. The, the, the black here, I almost would prefer this black on the statue compared to yeah. the faded That's black that it has. Well, yeah, but it's the, all uniform though, especially even in the boots. The reason yeah. the crotch is like this is so that you have him in a kicking pose. He has to have that much space yeah. to move. That's yeah, why I have it. That's that true. Way. Snap! Like I said, I think this is better to be used as a toy to play with and maneuver than an actual it's toy. Expensive toy but, to play with. Yeah. No, but the thing is that there are some collectors, especially when we have our statues, there's some collectors uh, that, that love manipulation. Yeah. You know, you know that, that would be neat like, for people who, who like to put little scenes together and stuff, because I know like with the things that I collect, I like to put it in such a way to where it creates a scene. It reminds you of something. Yes, like, like straight out from a scene. So I can see that for this. But if you just want something that's going to be in a showcase, I think we're better off getting something like this. Okay, so then the, the price point. So again, this Deadpool is no longer available at retail. Now you have to purchase secondary market. Prices range from $600 to $1,200. Or you can still kind of get this at retail. Let me see if I can see the box from here. There's like, they only made like 3,600 of, of these, yeah. which is kind of funny. You know, a hundred and something million people in the United States and they only made 3,600 of the figure. So you can still get him at retail for 130 about, or you'll pay on the secondary market a higher price for this one. So you would choose if you had to? Probably the figure. Yeah. yeah. Probably the figure. Just because he's available, he's affordable right now. Well, slightly affordable, and then with the stuff that you get, you know, you get more things. Stuff, more yeah. more stuff. Get more stuff. More bang for the book. And then, you know, that's something that collectors like myself have been saying to Sideshow over and over. That's why we like XM. You know, you'll see that we do XM reviews on here in Prime 1. XM and Prime 1 are giving collectors more options for their money. A little bit more expensive, but you get more detail and more options, and that's what collectors want. That's what fans want. He's going to shoot you in the tip. <laughs> Boom! Is it milky? <laughs> Is there anything else we want to want to point out of these two bad boys? One has a base and one doesn't. Yeah, that's another yeah. thing. Yeah, one's one's a set on a base and one isn't. Oh, yeah, good point. Though. And does he have a, on that note? Let's just check the bottom. He does. He doesn't have a pay hole for you to step pay, to put on a base. So you would have to find a way to set him so that he doesn't fall over. Like Joe, that. Know that sucker. Or Joe. I know we said we liked the gear on this one better, but I just noticed on this one it's actual leather. Well, it's pleather. Well, it's, it's, it's actual. Well, it's pleather, but it's the material, you know, versus just plastic. But I like the accuracy more than right. pleather. I yeah. prefer accuracy than pleather. Yeah. yeah. So for those on Instagram, thank you for joining this edition of Geek Culture Unboxing. Everybody on YouTube, we'll see you geeks next time.